Mr. Edmondson. Yes, sir. As I understand it, uh, when you were being taken down from the statue, I believe your back. You see his head? What? Can you, I don't know if you can see. Watch his head. Was to the left side of the horse in the statue. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, during this time, you said you had been sitting side saddle, so your backside. Where is the jury looking right now? You have any doubt in your mind that they're looking at him right now? Any doubt in your mind that they have now turned and are looking at him? And you see what they are seeing, is it so? Was touching the horse, and your front side was facing outward, is that right? That's, that's correct. And your back side would have been touching the horse right behind the saddle on the left side of the horse, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Now in this position, I take it you could only see the front view. What is he trying to establish? What does he have the felt necessity to write down? You want to hear the whole print? It's a real toughie. It's that the guy couldn't see what was going on behind them, right? Is that right? That's plain English kind of talk, right? Where you and I come from, huh? The kind of people we are, right? It's a fact, isn't it, sir? You couldn't see what was going on behind you. True? That's true. It's true, is it not, that many of the officers depicted in this photograph were behind you at the time, right? That's correct. So is it not that you are in no position to say exactly what they were doing because they were behind you and you couldn't see them, right? I hate to say it, but that's true too. But so is it not that you're in no position to know whether this photograph is accurate based on what you saw that day. That is a fact, isn't it? That's right. You think those questions are memorized, Bernie? You understand? That's how easy it is to do. True? You just do your own summation on the point right through the witness. Where's my friend with the ear? There you are. The nose. Maybe you were nose. I don't remember. Was that dangerous? Not in that case. Would it be better to read it? No. It wasn't dangerous because I used the doctrine of fencing off. You know what that doctrine is? Before you enter the pasture, you fence it off, right? If I start with the last question, Lord only knows what will happen, true? But we start with, he can't see what's behind you. But what's he going to say? I saw them spit it out? I'm, I'm doing the best I can to make an honest answer to a very honest question, but you understand it, yes? Now in this position, I take it you could only see the front view of the police officers who were facing the statue from below, is that right? Yeah, they were coming directly towards me. You could not, for instance, see the back of the helmets of the police officers, is that right? I couldn't at all. As another example, you could not see what was attached to the back of the belts of the police officers, is that right? There'd be no way I could. In addition, as you were being taken down with your back to the horse, the top of the, st the horse and the statue was behind you, is that right? Look at the price he had to pay for that question. He had him taken down, right? So what did you see as he said those words? You saw this poor plaintiff being again dragged from his horse, is it right? Right? For what purpose is all of this? To establish that he can't see what is behind him? Nor behind the people? Nor, the, nor can he see what is the, behind the people who are behind him? Right? In addition, as you were being taken down with your back to the horse, the top of the, st the horse and the statue was behind you, is that right? That's, that's correct. You could not see what was occurring on top of the horse, is that correct? That's not correct. Do it. May, may I answer? Well, you're certainly entitled to explain sure. your answer. That's right. Isn't that a better position to be in? To say, no, don't answer now. I'll let your lawyer do it later. Have you ever heard that before? Mike is dead right, see? Well, you're certainly entitled to explain sure. your answer, sir. During that, during that time when I was being pulled, uh, if you can picture my being pulled, I'm twisting and, and turning, so I, it, it, it's, it's not just a straight slide. I'm sliding and I reach around to sort of grasp, or try to grasp the saddle, so I could see what was on top of the horse. 
if that if that answers your question. Well, okay. I, as I understand it, then if you were at the times you were facing out, you couldn't see what was going on behind you, but you could catch glimpses if you happened to turn. Would that be a fair depiction of what you just explained? Yeah. He's better then than he was with a reading, true or false. And he's a good reader, right? But it's very simple, right? You didn't see the policemen's backs, they were behind you, right? And you were unable to identify anything in this photograph that was behind you, true? Is that his point? <coughs> now, from your vantage point, you could not see the underside of the horse on the statue, is that right? What do you think was under there? 